ask you, um, I believe it's your turn, uh, Governor Newsom, have the American people on the issue of borders, you're defending the Biden administration, they're saying the border's secure, they're saying the border's closed, those are the numbers from our own border patrol, are the American people being lied to? I don't think they're being lied to. The Biden administration put out a comprehensive plan day one when he got sworn into office three years ago. And the Republican Party didn't touch it. They haven't moved on it. They play politics with us. And I'll be honest with you. I think there's probably one person I wouldn't listen to on this topic more than the guy that I'm standing next to, Ron DeSantis. He is absolutely he lacks any credibility on the issue of immigration. When he was in Congress, he supported amnesty. That when he's in false. Congress, you supported John Boehner's bill. It's a that fact. False. When you were in Congress, you supported I killed Obama's. John you supported bill. Obama's efforts that is to false. advance comprehensive reform. False. The last guy you want to talk to on the immigration. Your immigration policy can best be described as a governor from the state of Florida going into another state, the state of Texas, lying to migrants, promising them jobs and housing, sending them to an island, Martha's Vineyard, and then sending them to a parking lot in Sacramento, California. I met with those migrants that you lied to under false pretense. That kind of gamesmanship, using human beings as pawns, I think is disqualifying. So again, a guy who stands here who's been out on the Republican debate stage saying, well, he's going to be tough. He's going to shoot people with backpacks uh, and that he has a strategy to potentially even invade our second largest trading partner, uh, Mexico, that has a record of supporting amnesty and supporting reforms under the Obama administration is the last guy to be standing on stage talking about the issue of immigration reform tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, it's deja vu all over again with that flurry of lies. This is a guy that says the Biden administration is not lying to the public about the border. They go to the White House uh, briefing room every day. They say the border's secure. They are lying to you. We know that that's not true. Gavin Newsom is lying to you when he says somehow I supported these things, which I didn't do. He's also <laughs> lying to you uh, about what it's going to take to solve this problem. California is a sanctuary state. Uh, they thumb their nose at federal immigration law. And this has real consequences. Uh, there was an illegal alien, Herbert Nixon Flores, uh, who was in L.A., uh, in custody. He was a repeat criminal. ICE wanted to take him into custody because then they would be able to deport him. L.A. refuses to work with ICE, and so they wouldn't turn him over. They end up releasing him on the street. He ends up murdering the mother of a three-year-old little girl. Uh, that, those policies are deadly. Uh, they do not work. And I'll tell you this. Uh, the, the Martha's Vineyard transport, Martha's Vineyard said it was a sanctuary jurisdiction. Kind of reminds me about Gavin Newsom when he restricted Californians, then he went to the French Laundry. These liberal elites, they like to impose burdens on you. They don't want to have to face the consequences of their actions. So we've got a lot of elites who want open borders, yeah. who lecture right. everybody else about it. Uh, and the minute they have to deal with any of the consequences, oh man, all hell breaks loose well, how about and they the get upset. Hold on, we're moving on to the next question. I mean, We'd be much better on off the same time.